Hello, we are uh, on uh, Open World Forum uh, 211, 2011 with uh, Bruno Kornick, uh, Hewlett Packard. Uh, hello, Bruno. Hello. What is uh, exactly your mission uh, in Hewlett Packard? So I have uh, multiple hats inside HP. Uh, my first hat is uh, acting as a solution architect for HP. So I'm meeting customers, discussing about uh, various uh, open source solutions that they want to put in place uh, about best practices that we can exchange with them around the open source domain and how they want to deploy the software, how they want to migrate from a, an existing solution to a new solution based around open source. That's my main activity at, at HP. Uh, another activity is to animate and coordinate a, a community of people inside HP at EMEA level. Uh, we are, so we call that the open source and Linux profession. We are 1,000 person across EMEA and 3,000 people worldwide. And we, again, we exchange best practices, tips and tricks inside the community to, to really share uh, what we know and, and uh, help each other uh, around different projects. Okay, HP uh, is a contributor of open source, <laughs> but uh, what are uh, your domain, your uh, technology when, uh, about uh, around open source project? What is your domain of uh, investigation or development around uh, open source? So d due to the fact that HP is using a lot of s open source software inside our products, inside our IT infrastructure as well, but also inside our products, so we distribute product to the outside with embedded open source software in it. So we need to respect licenses. So one of our constraints was 10 years ago to be sure that we were uh, respecting the licenses that were available around the open source software bricks we were using. So we put in place an infrastructure, an open source review board, and a certain number of tools has been developed around it because first it was very easy to do that manually, but after a couple of months it became obvious that we, we received so many requests that you had to tool uh, the requests from, from the people to tool uh, exploring the software to be sure that inside the software you had the right licenses. So for example, we developed a tool called Fossology uh, which is a, an open source tool and uh, released under the GPL v2, uh, which goal is to explore the software that uh, someone is giving to you and to analyze all the licenses inside the source code to be sure that you are uh, identify correctly the software and then afterwards respecting the licenses that you find inside the software. Okay. Uh, it will be very difficult uh, for a big company to uh, develop open source or uh, integrate open source in uh, your technology. It's very a very, very hard approach, you, you think? Well, for, for large corporations, most of them now are, are putting a, an, a structure in place which is similar to the one we have inside HP. And uh, typically, there is a, a site called FOSS Bazaar that we have initiated, which is an initiative part of the Linux Foundation. And that FOSS Bazaar group uh, is here to help different companies share best practices around open source governance. So people give their method, their guides, their policy, they exchange around what they do inside to handle open source correctly. And you, you find very big names in it. You have Alcatel Lucent, for example, which is part of Fuzz Bazaar. You have uh, British Telecom. You have very large enterprise outside of HP who are already sharing best practices because I think there is a, a, a willingness to create a community also at that level of people that can uh, really exchange around those topics and take some good ideas from the other to apply them inside their company as well. Well, uh, where we found information about uh, open source uh, activity uh, in HP? So, outside from the two sites I mentioned, fossology.org, fossbazaar.org, we have one main portal which is opensource.hp.com, which contains everything related to what open source does uh, with regards, what uh, HP does, sorry, with regards to open source. Typically, uh, you have activities around what we do to support events such as this one, different communities such as kernel.org, or the various projects we are involved with. Okay, then thank you, Bruno, and see you soon on Intelligent TV. Thank you.